Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick tag video. I'm going to do the 11 most reached for products. Um, I have more than 11, but I kind of separated it like in, I don't, technically I have 11. Um, I'm going to start off with face products, and the first one's a foundation, which is the CoverGirl Natural Luxe Foundation, and I'm in the color Flax, which and I just threw it on the floor. But I'm going to color Flax, which is number 310, and I have been loving this product. I use it every single day, and honestly, I could wear this with a setting powder, and that's all I need. Like, I don't need, I really wouldn't even need the powder, but I always like to set my makeup. But this is really, really, really good, and I love it. And then the next thing is my e.l.f. Complexion Perfection Powder, which looks like this. And you can see, like, there's a big dent in it. When I first got this, I hated it. I was like, this isn't doing anything for me. Like, what is the point of this powder, you know? And I didn't like it at all. But now I've, I've used it a lot, and it just kind of looks like... It looks white, because obviously they all blend together. But it corrects, like, imperfections and evens out your skin tone, and it really does work. Like, I like it a lot. So, there's that. And then next we'll go to eyes. And the first one I have is the e.l.f. eyelid primer and it has a doe foot applicator and I <coughs> was kind of skeptical about this because I figured okay it's only a dollar this is not going to be good and I was like mm, but it's only a dollar so I'll get it but I use this every single every single <laughs> day and I love it it works so good and it helps my eyeshadow stay, so it's really nice. And then we'll go to eyeliner, which I have two eyeliners. And one of them, the first one is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in black. And it looks like this. And this has been my holy grail eyeliner for ages. Um, I don't... It's also got a little sharpener at the end. But um, it works really, really good, and I don't have any issues with smudging until the end of the day, like a long day, probably like 8 to 10 hours before it starts to smudge, like in the corners, and that's it. So it's really nice. And then I have another eyeliner, which is the Maybelline Eye Studio, and it's like rubbed off, but it's the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black, and... This obviously looks like I haven't used very much of it, but I have. <laughs> um, this is my second one of these. I've gone through two of them. So um, Some people say they have a lot of problem with this staying, but I've never had an issue with it. It stays perfectly fine for me, and I am in love with this. So, Which I just use like either an angled liner brush or a flat liner brush for that anyway. So. Um, the next thing is a mascara, which is the Lash Blast Volume, and I love this. Look at that brush. <laughs> this works so good for my eyelashes. Um, I used to use um, the, pul the Pulse Perfection, I think, the one that like vibrates or whatever, and I thought that one was like, so good, and then this got sent to me by CoverGirl, like I want it, in a contest thing or whatever and I use this every single day and I don't have to like double up on coats of it. I can just do one coat and it's perfect. So um the next thing is eyeshadows and I put this these four in one because technically like they're all they're all in the same company and they're all in the the spring collection. So I'm gonna say I my most reached for product is the Alexander Mineral Makeup Spring line. They're spring eyeshadows. There's four of them. And there's a green one, which is in Renewed Spirit, and it's really, really pretty green. If you can see it. I doubt it. I really don't. I need a new camera. 
And then there's one in Lunar Shower, which I am really having trouble describing what color this is. But it's, I want to say it's like a silvery color with like green undertone to it. Kind of. But <laughs> um, and there's like a purplish pink one in Persephone, which this one's really pretty as well. And then, uh, I can't get the light closed. Oh, duh, it is closed. Awesome. And then I have, there's a pink one in Dewdrop Petals, which looks like this, maybe. So there's that. And then another eyeshadow is the Hot Luxor, Hot Luxor in Vintage Lace. And I love this um, as a highlight. I use it as a base. It's really pretty. I love it. It's a matte, like, cream color. I use that almost every day as well. And then the last thing for eyeshadow is my Sleek palette that Heidi sent me. And it's the Good Girl palette. I don't know if that really matters, like, if you guys can see that or not, but... Um, it's like all pink and orangey colors, and it looks like this. And the colors are like super, super pigmented. They're really pretty. I love this. I love this a lot. Sorry, I just blinded you guys. But I use this a lot too. Um, I used it yesterday for like an Easter thing with like my family and stuff. And they were like, oh, look at your eyes, they're so pretty. It makes your eyes pop. And yeah. Okay, that was really obnoxious. Sorry. And then the next thing is, a lip, is like the only lip product that I've been using, which Heidi also sent me. And it's the P2 Pure Color Lipstick in 020 Sunset Boulevard. And it's just a really pretty pink um, nude color, which I have on my lips right now. And I love this. It's really actually like moisturizing, and um, it's I love it. The color is really good. Um, which I have really really pink lips normally, like bright pink lips, like naturally. So that lipstick actually covers up my neck my natural lip, so it's obviously got to have a lot of pigment. And then the last thing I have is two brushes, which I want to apologize in advance, one of them is really dirty. But um, the first one is an eyeshadow brush, it's just an eyeshadow shader brush from Coastal Sense. And I got this brush um, when I got my 88 matte palette, so I just got this brush with it because I didn't have any really, I didn't really have any brushes then, and I fell in love with this brush. I use it so much. Um, I it's really dense, and um, I also it I compare this to my Elf uh, eyeshadow brush, which I love. And then the next one is my Elf stipple brush which like I said is really dirty and I this is like this is this I think this is the second stipple brush that I ever bought and I love this one so much and it really works really good for like buffing in my foundation and I love it I use it every day and I need to clean it because it's like super super dirty but um that's my 11 most reached for products and I hope I could help you guys out, and I hope you guys like what I have, I guess. And um, I will post, I will put, like, everything in the down bar, like, what everything is. So, um, see you guys later.